Are you taking care of your air conditioning equipment? Now this equipment is expensive and we rely on it to keep us cool in the summer and warm in the winter. So you've got to make sure it's running like it should. And one of the most important things you can do is also one of the easiest things you can do, and that's changing your filters regularly. So let's see how to do it. Hey, it's Mark, and I want to empower you on your journey of home ownership and show you how to maintain your home like a pro. The first step in changing your filter is locating where your filter's at. And so a lot of them are located in the air return grill. This is an air return. Oftentimes it's at the bottom. You'll see a big grill like this, or sometimes they're in the ceiling, like in a hallway or in a utility room. And some of them will have a hinged grill that you can move a few little tabs and this will slide out or pivot out and you can put the new air filter right there. So that's the uh, that's an easy way to do it if yours is equipped like that. Some you have to go where your uh, evaporator coil and heat exchanger is located. Mine's in my attic and some houses they'll be in a closet, maybe a hall closet or a closet that's in your garage. So since mine's in the attic, we'll go up there and check it out. I'm in my attic now, and this is my heat exchanger and evaporator coil that's located up here. So you can see where all of these duct works come in. These come in from the air return that we talked about, which draws air from inside the house. It brings it up through the unit. It passes it through the filter, and mine is located right here. And then it goes through either the heat exchanger to warm the air or the evaporator coil to cool the air and then it pushes it out through the other ducts to the rest of the house. So my filter is right here, so let's get a close up and we'll look at how to change it. So my unit has this little compartment door that's got a hinge on it. All you have to do is, is, is pull that door down. Now you just slide the old filter out and you can see the size of the filter here. Mine is marked 16 by 25 by four. Now one of the things, I've got a wider four inch filter so I'll change my filter at least every four months. I'll probably change it more often, maybe every quarterly, every three months. If you have a one inch filter, then you should change it every month. So kind of the gauges, the amount of thickness, the number of months you need to change that. Uh, you can buy these at any home improvement store. You can buy them online, super easy to find, and they come in different grades. So uh, you have the basic real fiberglass mesh filters. I probably wouldn't use one of those. I'd want something, at least one of the pleated filters. Uh, but you can get different grades like the hypoallergenic and all that. For me, just uh, consistently changing is the most important thing. But you just slide this out and we slide the new one back in and you can see how dirty that thing is compared to the new one that's nice and white. So that's all the dirt that we've been breathing. We don't want to breathe any of that. So we have an arrow that designates the airflow so the airflow is coming from the air return through the unit that way. All I have to do is slide it in. Put on my compartment door and that's all there is to it. Here's one pro tip is turn your unit off before you try to do this. Otherwise the air that's coming through it can make it very difficult to get that filter in and out, especially in a real tight compartment. The air suction makes it really hard. You know, those things draw so much air and they're a workhorse, they're going all the time and that air is being pumped through your house. You wanna make sure you're breathing good, fresh, clean air. And then if you don't, it also clogs that filter up and it's gonna work that much harder uh, to be able to get that fresh air to you. All right, so take care of yourself. Oh, don't forget, set a reminder on your phone to change the filters again the next month. And also make sure you set up with an HVAC professional, have twice a year someone come out and service your equipment, make sure it's in good running order. We'll catch you next time.